So fuse cubes, just like any fuse, are designed to protect the circuit from any kind of surges, any shorts or anything like that. This particular fuse cube, for instance, is a marine fuse and it was designed to meet any kind of demanding environment and protect it, you know, just like any, any other fuse, but it fits in tighter spaces and it can be held by tighter constraints versus having to just be a physical pull out, put in kind of fuse. Now, uh, you'll see these a, a lot in uh, coming on the outputs of alternators or the inputs for starter. Now, in relation to our systems or inverters, for instance, which you'll see these mainly, um, these were designed to go on the batteries and then once there, they become the bridge between the batteries of the truck and the inverter itself. So if this was ever to blow, of course you would not be able to read any kind of voltage beyond this fuse, but that would be a good indicator that it would be blown. Typically with our inverters, you'll see somewhere around of 100 amps to 150 amp fuse cubes, and they will be located, like I was saying before, just on the battery on one of these brackets here. The bracket itself will mount on, on the battery and then any cables coming off of that battery will be mounted to the fuse cube itself. Also providing that circuit protection uh, going back to the inverter. Now there are a couple of ways that you can test fuse cubes to make sure that they are working as they should or if possibly they are blown. Just by looking at them can pretty much give you the answer that you're needing, but also sometimes looks can be deceiving. So, if you happen to have a voltmeter, you can go ahead and switch it over to your own setting. And, uh, for instance, we'll start out with the beginning. This is a bad fuse cube. So we'll, we'll go from the top with our positive lead, and then we'll go to the bottom. And you'll notice how the voltage reading on here, or the ohms reading, is not consistent. So basically this is telling you that, for instance, yes, it is blown. Now, if you only have a continuity checker, for instance, we also have that as well, just to test to make sure everything is working. And again, we'll go from the top of it to the bottom, and you'll get an OL reading, which is an overload reading. Pretty much saying that, you know, it is it is blown. You're not getting any kind of continuity through it. Now, for instance, if we were to take a new one, let's see. you would then see we do have continuity through there. And if we wanted to switch it back to our ohms reading, we are now gonna show a zero reading, very minuscule, something that's a lot more balanced, a lot more consistent. And that would be how you would test a fuse cube by itself. Now, if you wanted to check it without it being disconnected from the batteries. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky, just for instance, or for the sake of saying that, a lot of people want to go in and they want to they want to just use their continuity checker they they're not looking to to spend a whole lot of time with this so they're going to go from the bracket itself to the top and of course that's going to give you nothing that's just basically since all of this is is connected to the bracket basically you're just reading the continuity that's going from your positive lead to your negative in this bracket now the way that you would go and test this fuse cube itself while still being mounted on the bracket would be one go from one end of the bracket preferably with your your negative lead and then go into the top like we did before with just a fuse by itself now you'll notice that if we was to if we were to put the blown fuse cube back on here and this is what i was saying when a lot of people want to go and test from the top of the the nut that holds on the Hold the, hold the fuse cube down, is you'll see that we still have continuity through there, but now if we were to go through the, the fuse itself, we now have nothing. And that is, that's a big misconception when 
when a lot of techs want to go through and, and check these fuse cubes is because like I was saying they are looking for I need to do this quick I need to do this fast because I have other things to do